Hello, Danny Crane, and welcome to my update video for the signal pattern detector. Uh, if you watched my previous video, you probably were a little confused because my test was a little bit different. Uh, right after I did that video, there was an update that changed what the test was looking for. Uh, previously, it was looking for a 1, then a 5, then a 4 uh, to come through, and now it's looking for three zeros all the way across. Uh, it's not too big a deal. It wasn't that big a change, actually. All you had to do was modify a few lines of code. Uh, to make my solution still work. Uh, if you remember previously, we were subtracting the number that we were looking for from the accumulator, and then we were checking to see if that equaled to zero. When it did equal zero, that means our test was true and it could output a one over to this column. Uh, this column would add up all three of these nodes, and if it got a three, uh, basically during that cycle, one from e a true from each of these nodes, it would output a one, so, uh, finishing our test. Well, all we got to do to look for zeros instead of the numbers that we were looking for previously is get rid of the thing that changes the accumulator. Uh, if we get rid of the adds and subtracts that we were using to see if it uh, was those numbers, then the solution will work just the same. Uh, we're just kind of saving ourselves the step now. So all you do is subtract or delete all of the adds and subtracts from each one of these. I can go ahead and press play here and you'll see it runs through the test and there you go. When we get zeros coming through, uh, and then the correct amount, then we get our true coming out of the uh, output. So that's it. I'll go ahead and fast forward there, let you see the count uh, statistics. Uh, that's it. That's all you got to do to fix it. So I hope this helps.